Oh my gosh, that's so cute! After a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix Lebeau was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sun set across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. Alright, that would be kind of creepy to me, personally, if I was just enjoying a nice glass of carrot juice and suddenly a ghost boat floated up to my house in the middle of the nowhere on a planet in the middle of the nowhere. <laughs> Where literally I haven't seen another human soul. Kind of scary, but let's roll with it. So let's see what happens next. Oh, 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 here we go. Look at all the cute little, oh, she has a little rainbow pin and everything. You have explored the far, far range from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. Well, that sounds very exciting. I'd be worried about what's going to happen to King Honeymint on our slime rancher far, far away ranch. Um, but at the same time, new adventures. We might as well jump in with both feet. Oh, look how cute this is! Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so precious. Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat, and it took her to uh, it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses, all in an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. It's like a mosaic slime island! That's so cool! Oh, she's got little, like, oh, I love the feathers! <gasps> feathers! Oh my gosh, is that from a slime? Because, like, the only, well, no, 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 there's also the, the hen hens. They also live on the island, so of course that's probably... <gasps> New hen hens! I didn't even think about the idea that there could be new hen hens! Oh, you guys, I am so excited. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservancy overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. Okay, a conservancy? That is just the coolest thing. It's overgrown with plants and everything. I'm totally here for that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. Yay! <laughs> I'm a little worried about the slimes back home, but we can only assume, my friends, that our slime rancher adventures meant that um everybody's gonna be okay back home. <gasps> Because I've got to stay here for a while in the early access version of Slime Rancher 2! Hello everyone, and welcome to our freaking gorgeous conservancy! What the heck? Like, I just get to start with this preciously beautiful house this time? Uh, I kind of majorly love that. Oh my gosh, so there's clouds overhead, there's plants up there. I don't think I have a backpack yet. It looks like my pockets are pretty empty. But what do we have over here? Oh look, those are all the, the old slime plorts. So I wonder if there's going to be a way to get some of the old slimes as well. And then I think some of these guys are new, these two. No, that's probably a dervish slime, and I don't know what that one is. Wow, and if I could ever get any of those like golden slimes, that would be amazing. Because uh, one golden slime plort would sell for more than everything I currently have in my pockets. <gasps> but there's plants in the little house! Oh my goodness! Yes! Oh, it's so cute! Look, there's a little spray bottle to, like, mist by plants. That's adorable. May these things survive better than my succulents in real life, just saying. There's- oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love this. Please let me decorate with more plants everywhere. This is so cute. There's even a little wheelbarrow. We've got some little slimes jumping around. I'm gonna go check them out in just a second. I just want to look at my little house. Ooh, I can actually, like, go into this little place. <gasps> Ooh, and I can say how long I want to sleep. Oh, and I've already decked it out with fairy lights and, like, plushies of slimes. Clearly, I have a travel pack to beat all travel packs because <laughs> if you're just, like, ready to settle into a new place, that shows the true entrepreneurial, like, colonial space exploring spirit, I think. If you just happen to have in your backpack at all times fairy lights, tiny plants, and adorable plushies so that you can just make yourself at home anywhere in the galaxy. I highly approve of that. Alright, let's return and do a little exploring. Hello everyone! 
Okay, so we've got some spots. We can definitely set up some science. Uh, if we had some money, I could set up a corral, a garden. Nothing beats the taste of food grown in your own backyard. Another coop. Keep the chickens in their place, preventing the uprising. Okay, I want to think that that's possibly a joke, but um, <laughs> considering like this is the whole new experience, how do I know the hen hens aren't going to be super dangerous on Rainbow Island? Are we going to find a rainbow hen hen? I would love that. Oh my gosh. All right, silo, you can't take it with you when you go, so put it in storage. Incinerator, don't need it, burn it. Pond, what are you going to do with this? Okay, so that's like the options for what we could currently put on these empty spots. Hi guys! Are you guys, oh, pink slime, diet, fruit, veggie, and meat. Oh, well, I mean, that's neat. I kind of knew that. Oh, sweet, and here's our Slimepedia. From moving around, uh, vacuuming and shooting, vac tanks, health and energy, corralling slimes, feeding slimes, ports in the port market, sell, 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 slime science basics definitely weird all right that is like the cutest little thing seeing that little slime face um whoops oh wow okay so these are just the tutorials and then uh here are the slimes so our slimepedia isn't filled out yet because we haven't caught any slimes we haven't gathered any resources we know about the conservancy and the slime sea just like with the original Slime Rancher friends, I have a feeling that we will expand the world. Hello, cutie. I've got to figure out how to like vacuum. Oh, there we go. Yay! Pink slime. Their coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer. They basically eat anything and they don't have any particular favorites. Hi, cutie. Whoops. All right, so that's how I shoot the slimes out. Oh, getting used to this again is going to be a bit of a doozy. And then they can go... There you go, cuties! I'll try to find you guys some food in just a second. Now that I have, after all, like, you know, captured you and contained you in a box. Which maybe wasn't the nicest thing to do now that I think about it, but I'll try to bring them some food. You are not food! You are definitely not food! Chigadoo! So little and soft you'd think they were filled with marshmallow. Oh my word. Alright, I, I, I cannot feed them this chikadoo. This is just too cute, chickadoo even. I I think I am gonna make a coop, but I should probably make a coop a little bit further away from where my slimes are, because I don't want somebody to eat my, my chickadoos. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. What the heck? All right, all right. You know what, I'll make the coop over here. Should I do that or a garden? Uh, okay, I'm gonna do the, well, actually then I would have to feed him. Okay, look, little guy. Ooh, chicken, are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think he's okay. I'm gonna let him hang out over here. And we're gonna do some more exploring first, because I, I worry, like, don't I need to feed him? Is that is that noted? Is he a resource? Oh, he is a resource. Okay, it doesn't say I need to feed him. So maybe he'd be safe? Okay, I've gotta wait. I've gotta wait. Hopefully he'll just roll around here like a little marshmallow. Food type, none. And then what is this? So, this is so exciting! Look, look at all this! Look at the beautiful slime sea! Don't fall in it, it's deadly! This is so cool because one of the things- Oh, look, it's like a mama hen hen! In you go, my dear! A hearty chicken bred to be twice as tasty as its cousin on Earth. Well, that's unfortunate. Why don't you go ahead and hang out down here? Boy, they're like bowling balls, that's for sure. Oh, look how beautiful this is! Heck! Oh my gosh, see, more fairy lights and more decorating prowess. Dang, we just start with everything super fancy here. That is what I expect from Beatrix since we did have so many, oh, there's our little boat. So many amazing adventures in the first Slime Rancher series, which you can definitely check out in the video description so that you can see the rise of King Honeymint. May he forever be in our hearts. Rainbow fields, shifting colors just like a daydream, just like a dream fade just as quickly. So this is the area like right outside of the Conservancy. Is there a map? Let's see, that's gadget mode. Oh, here's the map. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, this place is gonna be huge. 
So just like the first Slime Rancher, my friends, I think that this early access glimpse into Slime Rancher 2 is actually going to be an unfolding of new lands, new slimes, new adventures, and new mysteries as the months go by. Because if you recall, the Slime Rancher that we all know and love today uh, came out very, like, steadily over time. Uh, it didn't, it didn't just like pop up overnight and we would kind of celebrate the updates and now it's a completed game. And now here's Slime Rancher 2 to bring us kind of so far the same things, but with lots of slimes. Also, I'm kind of curious, like, hang on just a second. Is there a way to sort of like zoom in on that? Oh my gosh, there is. Like, are these slime dots? So are all of these, see these little circles? Are all of those things like telling me, hey, that's where the slimes are? I'm kind of curious about that. Oh, look, that's where some slimes are right over here. Oh, hello, little ones. All right, we've got your basic pink slime all lined up and ready to play. Oh, ooh, yes, finally some food. Hey, it's pogo fruit. The most common fruit found on the range and some say the most delicious. Well, that's good. So I could feed these guys if I wanted to. Hi, cutie. And then get my little plort. Got it, got it. And then I could gather up some food from over here. Next to a backpack, it's a rancher's best friend. Just some carrots. Oh, look, and it's some of the cute little statues again. Wow. All right, with some broken, broken little hints of some crystals. Okay, I don't have a backpack yet. I really need to be a little more careful about that. But you usually always get rewarded for being very adventurous in this world. I mean, plus we're colonizing a planet, bringing science, civilization, and uh, adorable fairy lights. Okay, that says danger over there. And adorable fairy lights to the world. I probably need to wait until I happen to have a backpack. Hey, back off, little guys. Indeed. There you go. Ooh, and we'll grab these carrots. Okay, and you know what? I mean, I guess I could grab a couple pink slimes while I'm here. Ooh, a plort! Actually, I guess I could have- oh, Little one, get in here! Oh my gosh, yes! Chikadoo Rescue! Chikadoo Rescue has been resumed. Oh, I love these fruits! Oh, there's a Mama Hen Hen back here! Little chick, come this way! Okay, I'm gonna have to rescue those little guys. Well, look, the grass is kind of like shimmering differently. What is this? An upgrade is needed to harvest that. All right, all right. This is, oh, what is this? An upgrade is needed to harvest that? This is so cool. This is just like literally, oh, you guys, what is this? Oh my gosh, is that, oh my gosh. All right, no, the chicken do. In, 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 before you get numbed. Okay, what I don't need is gonna be this pogo fruit because what I do need are these guys. Oh, oh my gosh, cotton slime, cotton slime. A hop, skip, a jump. Oh, it's gone, and oh, it's gone. Okay, so I guess these guys must bounce around quite a bit. I don't know what the fruit they really like is. I'm kind of amused that it isn't carrots because I would have kind of put all my money on carrots. Also, Largo Slimes. So Largo Slimes are, of course, uh, two slimes who have fused to become one by feeding one of the slimes like a plort from another slime. I, at least I think that's how it works, if I remember. Yeah, see, we just gave a cotton slime a pink plort and it turned into, there we go, and it turned into a Largo. Hello, cutie. Cotton slimes, you guys. What? That's so fun. And I guess I do need these pink plorts. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love when they become little slime towers like that. Hi, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and snag a couple of you. And maybe I should head back. Oh, hi. Okay, so they pop out like during the day, it seems. And I could start making, if carrots are like a, oh, hello. Yeah, if carrots are like a rancher's best friend, why don't I start going ahead and making some carrot farms 
And then harvesting these new and exotic plorts, at least to me. And I mean, not to whoever wrote me the mysterious note and like summoned me on a boat, which is still, you know, I've got some questions about that, uh, but they're new to me. And we'll have to see if there's, oh, I'm out of space. Jeez, starting all over with just like tiny things sort of surprises me. Also, I'm mildly scared of like what's gonna happen at night. And I also just realized that maybe these, are these cotton slimes extra, like, whoops. Are they like extra bouncy? Hi, cuties. So are they, oh, look. <laughs> okay, because if these cotton slimes can like jump extra high and like that's their special thing, it'd be kind of hilarious if they just did not stay inside of, inside of my little pen. But let's go ahead and have them. I need to get these pink slimes out of here, actually. So I just don't have a ton of Largos. There you go, guys. Oh, this is so fun. And I, oh, hello. Yeah, I'm beginning to suspect that the cotton slimes actually can jump a little higher than not. There you go, friends. Be free. Oh, Chikidu, watch out. As long as you stay, like, inside of here, I think you'll be okay. But let's come and see. What are... Nope, didn't want the cotton slime. I wanted the cotton plort. So we'll take a little peek at that in just a second. Hi, cuties. Thank you for the plorts. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Yes! New slimes! New slime science! You guys know how much I love diving in to a new aspect of pixel biology science. So let's see, did we learn anything more about the plorts from these different slimes yet? I don't think so. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you actually have to have to open the slimeology notebook. Imagine that, friends. Cotton slimes seem to have adapted to life among the tall grasses of Rainbow Island by developing a spring in their step that allows them to leap far higher into the air than other slimes. What did I just tell you, friends? Their favorite food is water lettuce? I'd love water lettuce too, where is it? Once airborne, these floofy-tailed slimes are always hopping, hopping their hop, hoping their hops land them in a patch of delicious water grass. Rancher risks. Cotton slimes are always looking for an excuse to leap high into the air, be it to escape a corral because they're agitated or for secret bunny things. Either way, they ensure that ranchers stay on their toes, which would still mean you're not tall enough to reach them. <laughs> and the plordonomics, which is one of my favorite things, since we are, after all, pixel biologists here, trying to blend biology and the pixelated adventures we go into uh, to a very imaginative twist that challenges our creativity. And the plordonomics of the cotton plorts are, cotton plorts have an inexplicable fluffy quality to them, making them a great alternative to cotton, which is not native to the far, far range. If one desires a quiet, isolated life on Rainbow Island, but still has soft pillows, warm sweaters, and lots of dry socks, they would do well to keep cotton slimes happily hopping about their ranch. That is so cute. <laughs> Because I'm just thinking, imagine how like freaking precious that would be if you just made a huge pile of the cotton slime plorts and crawled into it like a big mound of pillows. And then we've got carrots. Let's see, our, our chickadoos hang in there. The normal type hen hens. Um, and rainbow fields. Every day is one perfect, unending, lazy afternoon in the rainbow fields, the kind that would make anyone want to stretch out across its prismatic grasses and while the hours away watching marshmallow clouds drift slowly across the sky. Something tells me that, uh, as we learn more about Rainbow Island, maybe that idyllic it, scene is going to shatter and we're going to be proven to have been lured into a trap. Just saying. I have a feeling that that might be like one of the outcomes of having been lured to Rainbow Island. Happy hoppy cotton slimes pop from their underground warrens and bounce across about the glade, always hoping to land in a patch of delicious water lettuce. Careful explorers will also find ample reserves of jelly stone along the hills and cliffs, as well as sprouts of deep brine near the banks of the slime sea. Watching it are all the giant smiling slime statues judging the landscape, 
basking in the golden sun and hinting at the wondrous stone structures that Rainbow Island has yet to reveal to its visitors. All right, that sounds idyllic. They literally have lured me in here with plants and adorable little bunnies. Um, I am increasingly suspicious that this is going to be a horrible trap. <laughs> I, I am increasingly suspicious that we're gonna like figure out oh you thought you were safe you thought this was just like a chill zone no actually you have been lured here for the sake of death or like some sort of like ultra master slime hang in there little chickadoos I'm trying to like keep my chickadoos and hen hens over here and if we keep any like feral slimes well there's actually feral slime so I should what is what Where is my- why are you- why are you glowing? You guys saw that too, right? There's a rainbow! There's a rainbow inside my tree! There's a rainbow in this tree! Why? That's so cool! But why? What? Alright, look. Look. At some point, you have to be honest with yourself. And you have to think, okay, they've strung up fairy lights, they've surrounded this place in plants, they've plunked some adorable little bunny slimes in front of me. This has to be some sort of trap. Like, it just, it, this is just too sus. Because it's too idyllic. What do they want from me? We're gonna have to find out. Alright, so now that we're over here, are they saying, so pink flirts would sell for 11. And then I think the cotton plorts are the next thing down. So it's like 23. Yeah. All right. Oh, yes. We've already got 250 more dollars. I can make more gardens. Yay. I wonder if I'm going to run into anybody who can help me with like upgrades. Oh, hey. Maybe this thingy has something to do with upgrades. System offline. I don't like that. How am I going to do my upgrades? Don't tell me I have to be patient for something like that basic. Because I won't be. <gasps> I hope you didn't eat a random chikadoo. Hey, you! Where'd you go? Alright, come here. Okay, so let's set this... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's over here? There you go, little friend. Okay, what the happened there? The archway. An expansion to the conservancy set amongst the ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. And I can buy that? What? An expansion. Oh, wow. Wow. What? These are all new now. And the archway is an expansion to the conservancy set among the grass covered ruins from a time long ago. Pogo fruit and carrots grow between the cracks in the stone, making this a great spot for slimes that enjoy fruits, some fruits and vegetables in their diet. Okay. And then there's the den. It's mushroom covered. Hidden within a large rounded hill resides the den, an expansion to the conservancy. This dark, damp cave is a refuge from the sun for slimes and ranchers alike. Phosphor slimes in particular enjoy the mushroom-lined walls, while batty slimes love to stretch their wings in their natural habitat. What? The gully? This expansion to the conservancy is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. The gully is an expansion to the conservancy and nestled between ancient towering rock formations. While slimes enjoy frolicking in the amber fields of grass, hen hens nest in the cliffs, making this a meat lover's paradise or a hang hen paradise. Hello. Maybe I would just use the gully to like purely protect my hen hens. And then the tide pools, a coastal sanctuary for coral, life forms, and seaweed. This expansion is guaranteed to fill your shoes with sand. Perched above a low-lying peninsula, the tide pools is like a vacation, a sandy getaway from a rancher's busy life in the conservancy. But slimes and other creatures like this place too. Tall coral reef formations provide some respite from the sun, while shallow pools of water create an oasis for puddled slimes and other aquatic life. What? So I just need to like get a bunch of a bunch a bunch of money and then I can expand to these areas already. Boy, I'm kind of like caught between stunned that there's already so much we can do and concerned that this is all a trap. Like, is this just supposed to be like Slime Rancher 2? Beatrix goes on vacation. Get everything you want. Stare at the rainbow glittering stars. Stare at the rainbow slimes. Like, play with their cute little ear beans. 
like, okay, I'm a little suspicious. But suspicion might keep me alive, right, Hen Hen? But I guess the only thing we can do is continue to explore from here on out, my friends. So, all right, thank you guys so much for joining me on our first little steps into the world of Slime Rancher. We're going to continue going ahead and trying just to, to get our hands in the soil, to wrap our arms around these squishy little slimy adorable slimes, and we're gonna try to make the most of our home here, even though I am extremely suspicious. I can't tell if this is paradise or a trap, and I would love- oh, <gasps> and I would love your guys' opinions. So, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye